Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first video that you're watching. This video is about the current Mercury retrograde that we're in. We started this in January, uh, first week of January, January 5th in Aquarius, and Mercury is retrograding into the Earth sign of Capricorn. So we've got a few more days left of this. Um, that wraps up on January 25th. And just wanted to say that this time is a, has been a good time, and if you haven't done it already, to ground yourself. Um, we opened with the Mercury retrograde in Aquarius, which has a lot of mental energy to it. It's an air sign, so it's got a lot of, it's all about the mental element and thoughts. Um, can sometimes mean an overactive mind. It's got a lot of electric crackling energy. Um, even feeling like lightning bolts, that's that's all that Aquarius stuff. So if you opened January um, with all this feeling of nervous energy or ha your mind feeling like it has a mind of its own or feeling like you're being hit by lightning bolts um, or you, anything to do with your mind being overactive and overstimulated, these three weeks have been a good time to ground that energy into the earth element of Capricorn and to feel more steady. It's a good time to reflect and review, um, to observe your thoughts, to release anything that is not serving you, um, to just review contracts, review details, um, reflect upon things. It's, re it's all about renewal. Um, and the image that I'm putting forth for this Mercury retrograde is that of a lightning rod. So it's really good to take all that Aquarian lightning bolt mental energy and ground it into the steady, practical, stable Earth sign of Capricorn. And so release all of that, that nervous crackling mental energy into the ground, into the Earth element, and really ground yourself. Because when Mercury goes forward um, after January 25th, it will start to feel like things are moving forward again. Um, if things have been going haywire, that's often Mercury retro stuff. Um, if communications have been off, um, that can often happen during Mercury retrograde. We're going to start to feel like things are moving forward again after the 25th. And so t do take this time, if you haven't already, during the next few days to just ground yourself and um, take whatever mental energy, if there's too many ideas that have been floating around or you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, even with nervous tension or energy and ground that ground yourself um, and Capricorn is a great sign for that um, so that's my that's my thoughts on this mercury retrograde um, I look forward to doing your readings for you for February and those will be coming up soon thanks again as always for watching yours in the stars